There's a wonderful chapter on Shah Rukh where the first time you meet him and you go with a certain baggage because A, you're awestruck, you expect to meet a big star and you're completely disarmed because he's so normal, he's warm, he's caring, he's very respectful towards your father. They have a relationship completely independent of... I mean, it was... Uh I remember the day so clearly etched in my head, like it's, it's like it happened yesterday. Um, I grew up with movie stars that were stalwarts, that were luminaries, that we literally looked up to, like Mr. Bachchan, you know, when he walked into the room, there was a sense of like, you know, like, like glory, someone magnificent has walked in. So there was this stardom that I had realized, being a producer's son, Stars were always put on a pedestal. We were always the poorer parties. We were the ones that had to kind of succumb to their stardom, look up to their uh, full of awe because they were the ones who made the movies happen. So I grew up feeling movie stars were like unapproachable entities. I had then lost track with the generation because I was in my college days and I was touching base with my father's side of the business much later when he took me to meet uh, Shah Rukh to sign him for Duplicate. And I had never met somebody who was a young movie star who was so loved at that time and everyone wanted him in, in, in their movies, who was this animated, this conversational, this, uh, uh, what do I say, just this, this real person. So I was in shock and the fact that he respected my father so much, the fact that he showed that respect meant the world to me because up to that point I felt like my father had not had the best run at the movies, um, you know, even with certain people and relationships. And when I saw Shah Rukh, give him that love, I think I fell in love with Shah Rukh at that moment because I saw the love he gave my father and that to me meant the world, nothing else mattered.